This is Ray Mill, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Monday, January 11th, 2021. That shows Society of Film Critics has voted No Man Land as the best film of 2020. The organization also bestowed its director prize to Chloe Zhao, who helmed the drama. The Best Actress Award went to Frances McDormand, who starred in it. No Man Land was also recognized as, uh, with Best Cinematography. Laura Lindo was crowned Best Actor for The Five Bloods. Collective earned the Best Foreign Language Film title. Time was named Best Nonfiction Film. And the Best Screenplay Honor was presented to Eliza Hittman for Never Rarely, Sometimes Always. HBO Max has announced plans for a Sex and the City sequel series starring original cast members Sarah Jessica Parker, Cynthia Nixon, and Kristen Davis, and executive produced by Michael Patrick King. Uh, the streaming service said in a press release Sunday, uh, the series will follow Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte as they navigate the journey from the complicated realities of life and friendship in their 30s to the even more complicated reality, reality of life and friendship in their 50s. In the 10-episode half-hour series, is called and just like that filming is scheduled to begin in new york in the late spring sarah aubrey the head of original content at hbo said in a statement i grew up with these characters and i can't wait to see how their story has evolved in this new chapter with the honesty poignancy humor and the beloved city that has always defined them the show ran on hbo from 1998 to 2004 it was followed by two films in 2008 and 2010 Kim Cattrall, who played Samantha, has said in recent years she is not interested in revisiting the role. The final new episode of Jeopardy that Alex Trebek hosted before he died has aired. Friday's edition of the game show included a brief video of highlights from the late star's life and career. The clip was also shared on social media. Trebek died November 8th following a battle with pancreatic cancer. He was 80. He filmed his final episodes amid his illness and treatment for cancer without knowing this would be his last. Trebek hosted the show for 37 seasons, winning seven daytime Emmy Awards for his work. King Jennings, a former Jeopardy contestant who holds the record for the longest winning streak on the show, will serve as its first interim host beginning Monday. Uh, Jennings apologized last week for insensitive and dumb pa uh, past tweets that have recently sparked a backlash. Senator Kamala Harris, who will soon be the first female black and Asian American vice president of the United States, will grace the February issue of Vogue magazine. The magazine's Twitter feed said Sunday, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is our February cover star. Making history was the first step. Now Harris has an even more monumental task to help heal a fractured America and lead it out of crisis. The publication shared two different images of the smiling Veep. One of her in a black jacket, jeans, and sneakers with her hands clasped, and the other of her in a powdered blue pantsuit with her arms folded. The cover text reads, Madam Vice President Kamala Harris and the New America by the People for the People, the United States of Fashion. Harris told the magazine, I always say this, I may be the first to do many things, make sure I'm not the last. I was thinking of my baby nieces who will only know one world where a woman is vice president of the United States, a woman of color, a black woman, a woman whose parents were born outside the United States. Joe Biden was declared the 46th president and successor of Donald Trump on November 7th. Harris will be by Biden's side as in, at his inauguration on January 20th. Uh, Trump has vehemently disputed the results of the election, alleging widespread voter fraud. He has said he will not attend Biden's inauguration. House Democrat Whip James Clyburn said Sunday that the House may wait until after Biden's first 100 days in office to impeach Trump. Support for a second impeachment is growing in Congress, Clyburn said, in the wake of last week's riot by Trump supporters at the Capitol building as Congress certified the results of the presidential candidate.
rapper Playboy Cardi's Whole Lot of Red is the number one album in the United States. Going in number two on the Billboard 200 charts dated Saturday is Taylor Swift's Evermore, followed by Lil Durk's The Voice at number three, Pop Smoke's Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon at number four, and Ariana Grande's Position at number five. Running up the top tier are Swift's Folklore at number six, Megan Thee Stallion's Good News at number seven, Luke Combs' What You See Is What You Get at number eight, Bad Bunny's El Último Tour del Mundo at number nine, and Eminem's Music to Be Murdered by at number ten. And finally, Gal Gadot's superheroine adventure, Wonder Woman 1984, is the number one movie in North America for a third weekend, earning an additional $3 million receipts, boxofficemojo.com announced Sunday. The film was simultaneously released in theaters and on the HBO Max streaming service on December 25th as a strategy meant to reach as many viewers as possible during the COVID-19 pandemic. Coming in number two this weekend is The Crudes, A New Age, with $1.8 million, followed by News of the World at number three with $1.2 million, Monster Hunter at number four with $1.1 million, and, F- and Fatel at number five with $670,000. Right at the top tier are Promising Young Woman at number six with $560,000, Pinocchio at number seven with $209,000, The War with Grandpa at number eight with $147,000, Come play at number nine with ninety-six thousand dollars, and Alien number ten with sixty thousand dollars. And that was your entertainment report for Monday, January eleventh, twenty twenty-one. This is your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R A Y M E L O on Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for The Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all. <laughs>